Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Fiji. In the last episode, we started prepping for a war with Belize, which should go relatively quickly once it starts. And we've been working on a lot of our missile and rocket technologies. We are manufacturing ship-launched ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. We're manufacturing uh, SAMs. We're manufacturing... Orbital launch vehicles and spy sats. So, yeah. Rolling good. And continuing to pound away on that tech. We're going to be getting a carrier here in a little over a year. All right. We're almost at the point where I think we can design another plane. Had to see what we've got and what we need. Oh, and uh, one other thing I forgot to mention here, and you can already see what's starting to happen is I made a decision about what to do about the United States. And what I have done is I have forced the United States to declare war on all of its former territories. So it will be taking all of its land back. Sort of. Um, almost certainly it's going to puppet everything. I'm hoping that the U.S. will then, over time, integrate its puppets. We'll see. If it does not, and the puppets become independent again, then what we're going to have to do, or at least what I'm going to have to do, is tag back over to them and forcibly annex all of their former territory and just turn everything back into the United States again. And... Just... Deal with it. But we'll see. There are no troops. There you go. New York was puppeted. New England was puppeted. So, they're just going to roll over all of this territory. So. Alright. Our justification of Belize is complete. Uh, let see, that one can stay. You. Declare war. They'll just need a minute to get their organization back and then they'll start moving. There they go. We need military aid for anything. them. Oh, from an exit, yes. There we go. Then you can go back on exercises.
I would like a back door in Panama. We're not being guaranteed by anybody, right? No. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at a plane. Actually, before we do that, one thing, you need... Amphibious assault specialist, I guess. Hey, we can actually assign someone to military command. How about that? Still nobody in Navy Command yet. Yep, nothing there yet. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you off of exercises. And I want to set this up. Do invasion here. Take you to come in there. Set up another naval invasion. Into there. Select half. No, I want to unassign them from, not from the army. I want to unassign them from the battle plan. There we go. There we are. Now, do we have any decent intelligence on Panama? Let's see. I don't think we need whoever's over here suppressing. All right, so... Yeah, you. Start building an intel network in Panama. Yep, the resistance will come up a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay. Speaking of construction, how's we are we going? Going good. Going good. Did we ever get... Reactor grade material? Weekly production is zero.
Try again. Build enrichment facilities. Uh, maybe I just need a nuclear doctrine? Is that the flexible response? Unless... We just need to do this. The Republic of America was puppeted. The American Great Lakes were puppeted. 600 kilograms of reactor grade material. China's integrated Thailand for a week. Okay, yeah, I think that's a bit I was missing. I didn't actually turn on my enrichment. All right, commsats are done. All right. Ground launch cruise missiles. Probably want to work on those. Let's start working on those. There's cluster munitions, anti runway bomblets. Let's begin justifying a war goal against Panama. Sub-launched ballistic missiles are complete. Let's work on ICBM tech. All right, now we need that aircraft design. Actually, one thing I want to check is... My weekly nuclear fuel production... Uh, consumption is 2700. I need 3,000 kilograms of nuclear fuel per week. But that has got my, um, my energy production fired up. That's good. Let Nevada keep building renewable energy. That's fine. A 
office sectors. Network infrastructure. Office sectors. Get those built. Okay. Infrastructure, that's all built. Network infrastructure, that's all built. Okay, now the planes. Now the planes. So. All right, let's filter down to just seeing my aircraft so I know what we've got our hands on. A fifth gen light fighter that we're producing. A light naval bomber. Sixth gen. Carrier light fighter. Fifth gen multi role fighter. I think we need a sixth gen multi role fighter that is specifically tailored for long range operations. Maybe we need two. But yeah, I'm going to want to create a, a multi role fighter that is specifically for long range. So let's do that. So we're going to want a sixth gen. Multi-roll fighter. There we are. Rusts. All right, so if we want maximum range, what are we looking for? Flight range. It reduces ground attack, though. Flight range plus 30%, air defense minus 20%, radar advantage. Flying wing looks like it's the better option right there. Flight range down. Only 5% flight range. Provides no flight range. Okay. Yeah. It'll be a flying wing. We're going to need range extending. Mid-air uh, mid refueling capable. with conformal fuel tanks. Um, radar jamming pod for defensive countermeasures. This is not going to be a stealth aircraft. Um, increase our reliability. Rust vectoring engines. Dual axis thrust vectoring. I have to look at the Go to recon targeting pond. Um, yeah. Um, you know what? Give it a targeting pod. Ground attack. Third generation cast hard points.
30 millimeter cannon. I'm going to give it air to air hard points because this is a multi role fighter. Actually. No, not a targeting pod. This is not a close air support fighter. This is a multi role. We'll give it dual axis thrust vectoring. No. It's a delta. It's a flying wing. I don't know if we have a flying wing. No. Actually, throw the air to air hard points on there. We'll give it a pass. So this is. It's still saying air superiority, but it's multi roll. We'll give it naval hard points. Uh, it's really going to do it all, I think. No. Not your naval. Uh, strategic bombing, naval strike, port strike, naval patrol missions. Close air support, strategic bombing, naval strike, port strike, logistic strike. No, we're going to give it... Light hard points, I guess. Heavy hard points. We're not building on a budget. Flight range of almost 5,000 kilometers. That's pretty good. Equipment tag. I guess we'll make that equipment tag. Okay. So this is going to be the medium multi-role fighter two LR for long range. Uh, 
Albatross, sure. There we go. It's not an air superiority fighter. It is a multi-role fighter. Texas was puppeted. Now, does it tell me? Bubba of Lakota was. That what that symbol is. No. We're going to station our first squadron of those for now. Now it's classified as an air superiority fighter, which is kind of silly. Um, there, yeah, it has that specific symbol on it. So it should only grab... those Multi-roll, uh, LR wing, I guess we'll call that. Futuris uh, futuristic jet turbine engines. Okay, let's work on futuristic surface nuclear reactors. So if we're going to invade Panama, let's take a look at what they've got. They have no army. Because why would they have an army? All right. Early Maglev. They have no navy, no air force. Okay. Walk in the park then. All right, let's dispatch this fleet to the Caribbean. You need to rename this fleet. That's the first fleet. Um, this is going to be the first, 
Um, uh, Wolfpack group. And we'll switch from being the word first to the ordinal number. This is going to be just the second fleet. All right. Yeah, the second fleet. Take you off of exercises. Ah, we can't send you to the Caribbean, can we? No, apparently not. Okay, well then that's not going to work then. Those companies are brought down by bureaucracy. I don't care. Just unassign, unassign everybody. Uh, delete the that order. Set up that naval invasion there. Okay. Global navigation satellites. Oh yeah, we gotta get those commsats being manufactured. Uh, commsat. We're gonna need like a lot of those. So get me like, for now, a hundred of them. We're almost done our sand production. Cascadia was puppeted. All right. Where are you, Marine Brigade? You're over here for some reason. Okay. gonna do is thing is gonna pull the fleet off of exercises oh we can design a template but we're kind of out of time here so I'm just gonna get through this weak transition as soon as it will go there we go let's get you over there let's tell you to come over here It's 18, so we need nine divisions. The other nine divisions there. It actually doesn't matter. We could send two divisions and it will still succeed because of the way things are. All right, I need control of the Panama Canal, so we're gonna grab it. All 
Right. Okay, and all fleets cease exercises. You all get on patrol. You all get on patrol. Not that we really need to worry about it, but I would like to get ships repaired that need to be repaired because I'm sure we have a lot of ships that need to be repaired. No, nothing serious. Just a little wear and tear that needs to get fixed up. A little maintenance work, fresh coat of paint. All right, the other thing that I want to do is I want to queue in. A lot of naval base construction. For now, we will stop here. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.